Hi, we have just gotten a new lathe uh, and this is probably gonna be a series of videos where I would like to um, unbox the lathe, talk a bit more about it, to make a stand for it, stuff like that. And as well as to talk about some basics of machining, I've got a little bit of experience with it, but not so much. So I would like this series basically to make great instructional videos uh, which I would love to have when I was just starting uh, with machining. So let's get to it. Uh, we have just gotten a new lathe. It's an Optimum, which is a German reseller of uh, machines that are probably or they are surely made in China. But they should be a pretty decent quality. I've spent um, a lot of time researching uh, all sorts of lathes and wanted to get a used one, old lathe, initially. But then settled down on this. Uh, it's called T TU2304, I believe. And uh, it's a relatively small machine, but it should be able to do everything I'm gonna be needing for. So in this first part we are going to unbox the lathe and make a stand for it uh, with some drawers so it's nice and utilitarian and we can fit everything in there. Alright, I've got the lathe unboxed, I'm now gonna take some measurements to see how big should uh, be the table. So I've got some 40 mm square tubing cut to size from which I'm going to now weld the table. Uh, I'm going to stick weld it, which is not ideal, but that's the only option I have at the moment. So I'm gonna try to give it a go. This is a 2 mm wall thickness, so it should be alright. All right, so we've got the lathe in place. Um, this is a base for it. I've made it off camera. It's just welded together from some 40 millimeter square tubing, reinforced by some 20 millimeter down here. There are gonna be two sets of drawers here for tooling and stock and stuff like that. And there are three parallel 40 millimeter square bars to support the lathe. So hopefully that should be enough. I've already oiled the lathe, so it's now ready to go and we're gonna do some test cuts. This is a piece of aluminium and I'm running it at uh, 1000 RPM and we are going to face it off and then machine the outer diameter. So we've got that faced and uh, the surface finish is very nice. It was 0.5 millimeter on the OD, so 0.25 millimeter depth of cut and uh, 0.2 millimeter per revolution feed rate. And the surface finish is actually very, very nice. I believe this is a aluminum alloy which is specifically made for machining so it creates this really nice curly chip. They are pretty short, they break down nice and easily so yeah, very happy with that. Alright, this wraps to part one. I've taken some test cuts with the lathe uh, in aluminum, in mild steel and some brass as well. I'm very happy with the results, uh, even at the 0.2 mm feed rate, uh, the, surface is, the surface finish is very good. Uh, the machine seems to be quite sturdy as well, so I'm very happy with that. And in part two, I would like to do some upgrades. I would like to cover the waist uh, with some leather to protect them from the chips. I would like to anchor the table to the wall so it's a little bit more sturdy. 
as well as to do something with your tailstock because I found out uh, it kind of binds in the middle of the travel. So I'm probably gonna take it apart and uh, see if I can fix it and make it better. So thank you very much for watching and I'm gonna see you in the part two. Bye.